Hi there guys and welcome back to Bricks and Gaming and today it's a 360 shoot. Before we start with the games, a little bit of housekeeping. From now on, all Xbox related games, OG Xbox, well, Xbox One and Series X will be at the end of Xbox 360 Pursuit videos because game haul videos stopped because there's a new series starting and it's be too complicated so Xbox 360 will be Xbox 360 plus Xbox game pickups. That's the main housekeeping. And in today's episode we've hit my local CEX, done a bunch of eBay purchases, had a CEX lottery I forgot to film, a couple of pickups and my mate sent me a few games because I've sold a bit from there, sold the Nintendo Wii more we'll explain about that in next week's video. But without further ado, let's crack on. My mate kindly sent me from his local CEX, Grand Formers Revenge of the Fallen for £4 he paid. Complete CRB, as of course all my games are. And we've got The Elder Scrolls 4, Shivering Isles, the expansion pack to Oblivion, £2.50. So from my local cash exchange, I picked up one upgrade and one new game. Upgrade is the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Game of the Year Edition. Much better artwork. I'm for, I haven't tried to code yet, so I don't know if the code works. This cost me £3 like a normal edition from CX would cost you. But CX don't. CX will sell this for 12 but they don't take it in because the codes don't work. But this guy does have a much better artwork than the normal Call of Duty 4. The other game I picked up was Tekken 6. I paid £4 for this. Unfortunately, I took the stick off the back because this had been a case for a play because they had original case of damage, but. I'll keep a stack of new cases if I need to replace cases. So that's Tekken 6. And here's my little eBay haul. So this all this money from this has been selling my Wii collection because I don't tried the Wii and it wasn't for me. And a bunch of training cards. So the first one we've got is Adventure Time, Jake and Finn's Investigation. I paid £5.90 in total for this. We'll check the listing up here. Adventure Time, explore the dungeon because I don't know. And this cost me £6.77 total with postage. So that's good, that's two out of the three Adventure Times. And to complete the Adventure Times, we have got Adventure Time, the secret of the Nameless Kingdom, which was £6.95 delivered. And then we've got Afro Samurai, which cost me £15 delivered. Very cool artwork. Look forward to trying that out. Any of these games before, let me know in the comments if they're good, if I should have moved them higher up my backlog. And then we've got Apache Air Assault, which was £5.52. Then we've got Alone in the Dark, which cost me £2.72. That got shipped with Apache, it was part of the same bundle. So I saved from postage. Anarchy Reigns, limited edition cover. This was a total of £5.99. Looks like another one-on-one -on -one beat em up. Last game from eBay was Erica Gothic 4, for a total of £5.90. Quite a look, nice looking RPG style game. So that's my eBay lot done. So, so far I'm not doing too bad. Got a nice little stack growing here already. And here is my CEX haul. Well, that's not helpful, is it? So, for my CEX lottery, we've got A Train HX, which is the first one in the letters at A. So, I've got to move the whole collection and put this in. I mean, but at least I've got it now. Just looks like another sim, world, sim building world game. Then we've got Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Paid £6 for this. Used a voucher for this one. Most of this has been paid by vouchers or private sales. SSX 2012 for £3. The set, one of the last two LEGO games I need is LEGO Marvel Avengers for £6. Very similar cover to Marvel Super Heroes. Kept picking up the wrong one. But now I've got both Marvel games. Or I'm missing, missing now for the LEGO, so LEGO Star Wars 2. An upgrade, which is the LA Noir, LA Noir, the complete edition. The full disc set this with the DLC to replace my normal LA Noir. I got nice cool box art. Sticker has been peeled off carefully from down here. Just like it there, so you can see I paid £8 for that one. And the last game from CEX for today is WWE 2K14 for £3. With the rock or the alternative cover of someone. Let me know in the comments which wrestler that is, because I've got no idea. Don't really follow wrestling, so I only know the big ones. So if that's the 360 pickups, we've added 16 brand new games and two upgrades. Upgrade, the old versions of upgrades get traded into CEX for a bit of credit. 
Cool GU what four gets me a penny, and LRNR gets me around a pound or so, I believe. And for my non-360 other Xbox pickups, we have got two things I've re-added into my collection, an OG Xbox, which does not fit into my Kallax unit, so it sits on top of the Kallax unit, which is annoying, but it's just slightly too big. And Forza Motorsport, the original one, which cost me £2.50 and two tricks to each tricks to the First time I picked this up, picture on screen, I have Forza Motorsport 3 Classic, wrong, right franchise, wrong console. But now, we have got the right disc in the case. So now I definitely get Forza Motorsport 5 to 7 and then the Forza. But slowly working on that subset. But I've been playing this. Graphics for a 19 year old game really held up well. Back to the cars. So that's, that's today's 360 pursuit. In the next 360 pursuit, we're hitting Great Yarmouth and Lowest of CXXs. So I'll catch you in that one. If you enjoyed the new format of this video, let me know in the comments down below. Out of this big stack of games, which would you add to your collection? Which would you play first? Don't forget to like this video, share it around because it really does help. 